DPS this though. Ill DPS. Uh, yeah. Well, we have to unlock it. I'm still Mira. Okay. Yes. Okay. You challenging me again? Yeah. This person. The last pillar to fall. Anoka High has a request regarding the final icon of the Warring Triad. Greetings, Warrior of Light. But one pillar of the Warring Triad remains. Servan, the icon known as the Demon. According to the histories I have uncovered, this monstrous being is worshipped by a race of Merosidian beastmen. Those creatures are the key to maintaining Sarvan's manifestation, and we can be sure that many such thralls will be imprisoned somewhere within the research facility. It is imperative that we determine their exact location as quickly as possible. We dare not risk repeating the near disaster we suffered at the hands of Sophia's servants. As such, your fellow scions have already begun an exhaustive search, but there are several sectors which only you, Kryl, and I can enter without fear of enthrallment. Let us make our way to Azazla forthwith and aid the investigations. Okay. So I will just teleport myself. You're rude as shit. What? Teleporting yourself. Sorry. You don't think anything of Mira. I do, it just takes me too long to like go outside. Sure, sure. Yeah, Mira beat you there. Well, yes, exactly. I don't see you. Oh, right beside you. I don't see you. Right above you. I don't see you. My map says you're behind me. My map says that I am still behind you. Oh my god, you're way up there, what the fuck? Why are you so far up? Because you have to go all the way up to the top? Thanks, Juba. Oh. I can't see anything yet. Oh, that's a cute outfit. Ah, destination. Okay. Waiting. Good we caught you. The facility has been swarmed by Imperial troops. By their standards, do we judge them soldiers of the sixth? Aye. Once more doth regular von Hydras stretch forth his hand to seize the forbidden fruits of the Alleg, and once more have our meticulous wards been swept aside like so many cobwebs. Uh <laughs> should I do that voice or should you? I don't know. Yeah, you can voice it for now. Your middle some words were destroyed from within by the pulsating energies of an icon. Oh, that's regulus. <laughs> that's a voice I can You can do him. Nay! Put up your weapons and listen. 
The followers of Zervan have awakened and they told to rouse their master. The demon's worshippers yet slumbered when we confronted Sophil. Could the tampering of her foes have been more widespread than we thought? They shared a common enemy. It is not unthinkable that they would seek to free all of those elegans had imprisoned. Yes, yes. The cage's doors are open, and whilst you stand here, quibbling over the picked locks, my soldiers are inside the facility, risking their lives and their sanity. They have volunteered to face death to prevent Zervan's servants from waking him in the fulfillment of his power. Now, assuming you have at least last understood the gravity of the situation, it is time that I rejoin them. But you cannot hope to succeed. The Icon will enslave the minds of any who draw near. Thus did I seek out those with the power to resist his influence. Aid us, and mayhap my men will not perish in vain. You propose an alliance. I have delved into the depths of this place and found its technology wanting. These mechanisms have failed to hold their prisoners, and such broken artifacts are unfit to bring before the Emperor. Twice have you bested me in combat. Will you now lend me the strength to st and stand against our mutual foe? It was in opposing your reckless schemes that you say all is lost to us. You expect us to simply forgive and forget all that has come before. I expect you to put aside your emotions and use your better judgment. But of course, I am dealing with savages. I will not stand here and justify the death of the Ice Maiden. We pursued our ideals and you pursued yours. Such was the result. And mayhap you might consider another point. In these endless clashes, we have all lost comrades dear to us. Yet I choose to put aside past grievances to beg your champion's aid, to appeal to your reason. Thou art willing to build a bridge of common purpose upon such tenuous foundations? I too am hesitant to accept this arrangement, Archon Ishtola, but the offer has been made to the warrior of light and tis her involvement which shall ultimately sway its outcome. I shall abide by Miro's decision. Impairments. Hammett says, I cannot fight alongside the Empire because Sale was my homegirl. Servant must be stopped. Then we're going to get different dialogues. Possibly. Your answer does not surprise me. I was, however, duty-bound to pursue the most likely means of victory for the Empire. I leave you to hurt your fate. I will go. Whilst I cannot match PMS strength, I am immune to primal influence. I may prove of some use to you. I shall go as well. I fear that denying the Legatus here will invite a lifetime of regret. There is too much at stake. Thus we are shown the error of our ways. I spoke of Sail, but she would not have approved of allowing such a horror to surface. Whilst we clung to old rivalries. Are you in a completely different dialogue? Uh, yeah. Indeed she would not. There's time and let us hasten our comrades. After our comrades. have already passed through to the research facility. We should not lag behind. Well. Is 
demon stirs. Like a suckling babe, he feedeth upon the aether siphoned under him by his thralls. We must needs deprive him of his sustenance. Then we destroy those devices. Hold witness to your soldiers. They have turned against the other. Even half awake, Zoran corrupts and converts those who enter his aura. The three of us then, Pima and Akali, we were shamed together and each disable a generator. We cannot give them the chance to rally a defense. There are four mechanisms by my count. If I can avoid the Archon's miasma, my blade will make short work of the last one. We, all of us, have pledged our lives to... Keep your lives. I would rather you tend to my fallen. May yet some survive with their minds intact. I know not if my strength will be enough. I am... No champion. The battlefield is no place for uncertainty, boy. Fate has blessed you with a unique talent and the occasion to use it. Do not waste such a gift. We strike! No, no, servant won't go. Oof. His slumbers once more. You saved me. Why? I told you, boy. Yours is a gift too precious to waste. A gift the Emperor may one day have need of in his war upon these untamable icons. Emperor Varus, he... He raised me up from the ranks, stood against my detractors. I gladly give my life in his service. <clears throat> you must. You must finish this. Slay these leeches upon our star. Kill them all. <clears throat> Kill Zervan. We must needs withdraw and pre prepare our assault. At the cost of his very life, the Legatus hath prized open a window for us, uh, a window of opportunity.
Okay, until again. He is dead. Had I only been stronger. Enough of that. There will be time for regrets after we've read the world of Zervet. Carl has the right of it. The demon has fallen back into torpor for now, but we must act swiftly if Regulus' death is to have meaning. The survivors speak of an army of thralls loose in the facility, and we must assume that these followers continue their efforts to awaken the icon. Let us concentrate upon diverting them from their task. Mr. Krell and Master Unoklai, prithee, secure the controls to Zone's shackles and limit the restoration of his might. Archon Ishtola and I shall forge ahead and strike down those thralls as would seek to harry you. Warrior of Light, thine is as ever the most perilous duty. Gather to thee thy trusted companions and extinguish from this realm the fires of the demon himself. Are you ready? I am ready. Does Juba or anybody would like want to go? Let me ask. Anyone? Pluto, Thermal. Serban. All right. I guess that's, that's that. Uh, I always forget what the buttons are between shit and shit. Clear. Okay. Let's see, I like how the party forming thing is like on the side now. Wow, it even says like time elapsed and average wait time. That's awesome. Only one pillar of the warring triad remains, Zervan, the demon, worshipped by a Mercidian race of centaur-like beings. This icon manifested upon the physical plane as an embodiment of eternal victory. Yet despite his godlike might, Zervan was captured. It was languished in his elegant maid prison now for 5,000 years. His primal desire for justice swelling in magnitude with each passing millennium. So, like, five times. Through an unlikely alliance with the Sixth Imperial Legion, you and your companions were able to prevent a catastrophic awakening orchestrated by the demon's thralls. But your work is not yet finished. Honor the sacrifice of regular Van Hydras and remove the threat of Zervan from this world once and for all. I like the lighting in here much better. This is where we fought Thornton. What? It is?
What? Seriously? This exact room? Yeah, look at the floor. Yeah, but then how is Zervin in here? Because it also leads as a uh, as the entrance to uh, the Warring Triad. What? Oh, look at that. Huh? Look at the uh, party finder thing in the upper right corner. Yeah, I was telling you that just a moment ago. I was like, I like that. I wasn't listening to you. Damn. Oh, my back has been really hurting. Okay, got an idea for you. Try not having a hurting back. Oh. I'm gonna put some of this, like, icy hot gel on it. Don't do that. I'm gonna do that. You should only put four, 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 four on it. <laughs> four, 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 four. Yeah. Best thing about that is it doesn't even have the number four in it. It does. It had four of them. <laughs> yeah, that's that's true. Oh, why are my muscles like hating me right now? Well. <laughs> The reason I can think of that is because technically it's not your muscles hurting because you don't have any of those. Really, you just have. It's my brain. Really, you just have cartilage that uh, that that. This acts as pseudo muscle. It's so weird, like learning about how nerves and pain work, and like that it's all in your head, literally. Yes, indeed. That's well, it's not all in your head. It's just. I would say it's unnerving. Series. <laughs> unnerving. No. no. Burning your fingertips is unnerving. Uh -huh. <laughs> ah, shit. Okay, commence. You click. You click. I click. Apparently, two DPS have not clicked. One of them's Juba. Just need one more DPS to click. This music sounds familiar. Sephiroth, is that you? Okay, so my guess is you can fall off. Indeed! Alright, so it's the Holger's first time.
What the fuck? What? I just got hit by an attack I didn't even see. Flare star? I, I have no idea what it was. Metal cutter, is that it's blue? That could be it. Oh! I just fell off. Why the fuck? I think we fucked up. Servant is released from containment. I literally ran off the side. First time seeing it. I I can't see shit without my filter on. Whenever we don't have, like, back on your feet, I'm like, God, weakness lasts forever. <laughs> I guess we shouldn't go under him. He's got, like, an ice field immediately under him. Yeah, I see that. I am beyond your petty Behind him. Thanks for whoever dropped that ice field there. That was him. Bear witness to my will. Execrated will? Not excreted, execrated. Yeah, that's nasty. That's not the one we should have been attacking, thank god. Me and at least one other DPS realized we gotta be killing the one that casts Meteor first. Uh, 
fuck? Let's use Spyro on myself, because... I'm dead. Okay, it doesn't work the same Z's. So I guess if you have fire, you go on water. Oh my god, the tank just got me cleaved. Uh, you know what? Fuck this. Okay, so it's not, it's not. I was wrong. I don't know how the fuck we're supposed to do that mechanic. Yes. Alright, this thing says, fire to fire, ice to ice. that mechanic. Like what? What? I don't know. What are they talking about? Maybe this time I won't die? I don't know what they're talking about though.
I have ice. Yeah. I also have ice. Three to split up half and half. something called infinite anguish. Did more than one person get into an orb? Uh, yes. That's why. I went into your orbs. Uh, nobody went into mine. I went into yours at the last second. Maybe it's because I didn't get in an orb in time. Maybe. But... I didn't see any other ice thing. Literally. I saw none. Like, you can watch my video. Got fire. Ice again. Okay, I only see two ice pools. Yeah, there's only two fire pools. Okay. Wait, me. Oh, it's too far away. This is shit. This is shit tanking. They need to move them. Oh, there goes the tank. Broken seal. What's that? It's what spawns the uh, ice fields. Here, getting this one back here. Oh, I've got that. All right. Oh my God! What the fuck? Why would Wait, he just turn around and shoot me? That's what he does. I got vulnerability up from that. Stacks of one up. This is horrible. So I'll command the other healer.
recommend Piumet? What? I got four commendations. Congrats. Holy shit. Wavekin is like hot tail from Nidhogg X. No telegraph. No, but you're supposed to have telegraphs on normal. Wavekin's only abilities have his. I noticed that didn't. Well, I didn't even know there was an ability. Incredible as always, PMet. Hopefully that will be the last our world sees of the life of Zervan. Yeah, hopefully. Every one of his throws has been seen as far as we can determine. Our victory over the Warring Triad is complete. An impossible feat had we not been blessed with your cooperation. Let us not forget the efforts of regular Van Hydras and his men. Without their noble sacrifice, the demon would have awoken far sooner and possessed of far more formidable energies. The bodies of the fallen now accompany the survivors on return journey to Kalamald. It is known that the Imperials recognize no god, yet they would honor the dead in their own fashion. And when next we meet, our fleeting alliance will surely be forgotten. Was an interesting exchange, nonetheless. They spoke of their present ruler as a man who values self sufficiency. Varus befriended Regula in their youth, it seems, and was highly impressed by his martial prowess. It is common knowledge that Regula's rise to the Gattas was in great part advocated by the Emperor himself. Regula freely admitted his shortcomings when it came to politics, and it was Varus's unconditional support that served to win his undying fealty. One does not expect such tales of comradeship to lurk beneath the Empire's iron exterior. Contrary to all expectations, the man died a hero, witnessing the way you all leapt into danger without hesitation. It would seem I am surrounded by heroes. And yet my own actions were aught but heroic. I have not the qualities nor the character to stand by at the warrior of light's side. What a curious thing to say. Are you truly concerned that you do not measure up to some arbitrary requirement? If you knew of the path I walked to reach this place, then you would understand why I doubt myself so. Return with me to the Rising Stones, and I shall tell you of it. Yeah, Juba, I, I really wasn't watching Caspar because there was so much damage going out. There was nothing for me to be able to tell that was going on, really. Because I'm not, like, watching the bosses, like, health or shit. I even put him on focus, but that didn't help. <sighs> Okay, ready? Yeah. 
With your victory over Zevran, the Warring Triad is finally defeated. I am afraid, however, that mine own efforts have often been more hindrance than help. And you and your fellow scions deserve to hear the reasons behind my actions. I promise to tell you of my journey, of who I am, of where I am from. The truth is, I am not of this world. I was born of a different star, a child whose power of the echo was too feeble to save his dying world. child who, unlike you, never became the lord of light. Dude, he's fugly. When all I knew stood on the brink of destruction, I was yet half grown. Had I been born but a handful of years earlier, history may have written a different tale. The seeds of other heroes that I'd yet to fully sprout may not have withered and perished. Star I failed to save is known to you now as the Void. No idea what that is. Though Piamat knew not that I spoke of my homeland, I've explained to her before the cause of its ruin. The magic was devised to contain a defeated primal's might within a stone known as Orosite, and the energies which bled from this imperfect vessel gradually corrupted the champions who wielded it. These heroes became slaves to an insatiable hunger for ether, eventually transforming into hideous fiends, and none who clung to the faint traces of light were too strong enough to oppose them. The demons next turned upon each other in a war which drained the land's ether in ever greater amounts until one day the star was suddenly swallowed in a flood of darkness, an entire world unmade in an instant. The voids and you encounter here in this realm are the twisted remnants of once mortal beings who gnaw on what modes of life force remain. And as I lay dying, Beaten and broken in my failed last stand, it was a white robed Asin who found my tormented spirit and bore me away to the rift betwixt worlds. Elidibus has been my master ever since. At my mentor's feet did I learn of the nature of reality, of the existence of mirrored worlds, and the eternal struggle between dark and light. Sudden and overwhelming superiority for either side will shatter the balance, and the world in question will be ruined to the void, a calamity beyond imagining. As the self-appointed custodian of this balance, my master warned me that the source, the first of all worlds, slips perilously close to oblivion. In what spirit did this master prophet such warnings? A benevolent gesture or a veiled threat? To these questions and more do I mean to coax for ans forth answers, yet no matter his intention, that Heidelin doth teeter on knife's edge is undeniable truth. Knowing this, what choice was given you to make? Uh, 
I chose to join my master and act as his instrument on this star. The tragedy that befell my home cannot be repeated. I will see this world saved. And yet, I hesitated at the most crucial moments. What right have I to stand alongside a true warrior of light? In thine own words, thou wert called before thy time. And I offer thou that thou dwellest much over much on the question of what maketh the hero. The search for the answer leaveth thee paralyzed by doubt. Heed me, Master Unkalai. Thou need not believe in thyself a hero to perform great deeds. Tis the deed itself which earneth thee the hero's mantle. I, the ideals you hold, can be less important than having the faith to act upon them. Regular's loyalty to the Emperor guided his actions until the last, and though he did not see eye to eye on many things, his final deeds can be called not less than heroic. Personally, I find that faith in my companions allows me to act unhindered by uncertainty. I know that should I ever fall through, Pumet and the others will be there to support me or steer me back onto the right path if needed. I see. In the days leading up to my world's destruction, I was entirely alone. I never knew what it was to have such comrades. I cannot imagine the loneliness you must have felt. But look around you now, another little cry. You're not alone anymore. Welcome to the Scions of the Seventh Dawn. I will fulfill my promise to save this world, and when I stumble I shall be glad to have your hands there to steady me. My apologies, this is difficult for me. For so long have I spoken from behind a mask. We should all feel comfortable speaking without such concealments. I should hope you appreciate the irony of that statement, Orion <laughs> I sure did. Does Carl keep waving at me? I don't... I don't know. Okay, so... Next quest. Demonic Duplicate. Anoka... Amor... Wow, he really did put his mask back on. Jesus. He has something of interest for me. Whilst we were examining the controls for Zerva and Shackles, I found the tombstone that may be of interest to you, Piamet. Would you like to take a look? No. The information contained within this device appears to have been used to generate a simulated battle of grueling difficulty. Challengers would be pit against a simulacrum of Zervon. 
the power of which had been enhanced to the icon's highest conceivable magnitude is described as the final trial of, for the most of, the, of Alex warriors intended to distinguish the truly exceptional among them. I have witnessed no champion more exceptional than the warrior of light. Are you not curious just to see just how powerful Zorban may have been? I urge you to visit the verification node and undertake this ultimate test of the elegant elite. I urge you to shut the fuck up! Rude! So, should we walk out and teleport or what? No, I was punching the face. Okay, I'll just teleport from here. Ugh, gonna need some tea after all this voicing. Can't believe it's only 12.30. So Juva was saying that our plants look almost ready. How does that make you feel? That's pretty cool. Where's my arrow? Not there yet, reading the book. Oh, I could have read the book for you. is like staggering in the air. It's weird. Damn it, where the fuck? What? Oh. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> okay. But activating verification systems, elimination trial request acknowledged awaiting tombstone data. Put it in. Though it appears to be not more than a simple stone, Onokai insists it contains reams of invaluable information gathered by the lost Elegant Empire on the subject of the Demon Serpent. Data processed. Adversary or in Triad Serpent threat level extreme. This is the final qualifying test for a surviving elite squad in the Stees. Participation is only permitted to candidates who agree to unrestricted biopsy procedures following the trial. Specifically, enlistees who successfully complete the program will be certified as genetically superior and must submit to cell harvesting for subsequent cloning initiatives. The elimination trial survival rates are currently calculated at 1.9%. Activating reality augmentation, initiating elimination trial. The Empire thanks you for your service. 
postmortem data will be used to improve the survival rates of subsequent candidates. Your sacrifice is appreciated. Oh, node of little faith. Uh, no. The node knows. Nope. Stone Sea Ski Sky is of data's. And that is all the content I have to record, so for those who watched it, thank you. I will keep streaming, but I will be recording for the time being, and then I will record Dunscathe when that happens.